first here tonight at 6. A 25-year-old man shot to death outside his home this morning. Yeah, family member, members discovered his body, then called 911. And 2 News reporter Dana Smith live in the newsroom with the details in this developing story. Mark Brooke, it happened early this morning. The victim's body was found lying between his home and his neighbors. Police say they're still trying to figure out what happened. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Uh, yes. My brother was found outside dead on the side of our house because my mom found him this morning. And, and, she, and she woke me up screaming. Dayton's West Grand Avenue blocked off by crime scene tape this morning after a man was found dead outside his home. Police say he had been shot. I don't, I don't get it, like how, who would done something like this. But, you know, all good people, it seems like we're dropping like flies. Family members identified the victim as 25-year-old Devin Sanders. His cousin, Maurice Curtis, among several friends and family gathered at the scene this morning. Grieving the loss of a man they described as well-liked and charitable, always doing the right thing. Like he's the guy, type of guy. Like he went to Flint, Michigan, when they had their um, their water situation, and he went out there with uh, cases, like cases of water, and drove out his way just to drop off cases of water. Who shot Sanders is still under investigation. Family members say he still had his keys, wallet, and phone in his pockets. They say he usually gets off work at 7 a.m. and worked two jobs at Walgreens and Haven Behavioral Hospital. He's done so much. He's a good, dependable guy. He's nice. He's smart. He's, you know, he's intelligent. He's a hard worker, man. And if the public saw something or they heard something, again, let the police department know so we can try to solve this crime, so we can help the family have some type of closure, because that's what they're looking for. They want to know the why this happened to their family member. Police say they're still searching for potential suspects. Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.